What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me for another quick fix in Quarantine Kitchen. Uh, today's recipe is a little strange, um, but it's one that I invented the other day. And I took a picture and sent it to a friend. They're like, oh my god, you have to do a video. So we're doing a video. We are making apple pie hash browns today. Now, when I say invented, does that mean like no one has ever thought of this ever in the history of ever? Probably not. Does it mean I didn't look up a, another recipe when I made it? Yes. So, um, this is not a savory hash brown. Uh, it's not something you would put ketchup on. This is kind of somewhere in between like a pancake and hash browns, somewhere in between there. It's a sweeter flavor because of what we're using. Um, that's about it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at our ingredients. And we are going to be using one small sweet, uh, yeah, one small, this is a white sweet potato. Um, we're going to be using nutmeg and cinnamon as the main flavoring components. You'll need one half cup of unsweetened applesauce. This is homemade stuff. This is stuff I made myself. And then I'm using three tablespoons of tapioca starch. Now, I don't actually know if that's necessary, um, but I wanted my hash brown to hold together and I didn't think it was going to because I'm not using oil. Um, so that's something you can totally omit if you don't have it. I think they'll hold together just fine. So when I made this last time, I fried them in a pan one by one. This makes about three servings. Um, and I fried them one by one in a pan. Today I'm going to bake them for no other reason than I don't, I'm not going to eat them right away and I don't want to stand at the stove. So I'm going to bake mine today, but you absolutely can fry them in a nonstick skillet without oil um, on low heat and it takes about five to seven minutes per hash brown. Um, so that's, that's one way that you can cook it. I'm going to try to bake it today and see the difference in those two. I haven't perfected this recipe yet. So the first thing that we need to do is we have to grate our sweet potato. I'm going to use my food processor. Um, if you want to hand grate yours, you go right ahead. I have the beauty of technology. So I'm going to grate this and I'm just gonna leave it in the basin of the food processor because that's where we're gonna mix everything. Um, and then I'll be right back. Okay, we've got it all grated. Um, just a simple grate, that's all we're doing. Just like you would if you were making regular hash browns. The difference is we're using sweet potato instead of regular white potato. I'm going, we're just gonna dump everything into the basin, mix it together and section it out. Um, I'm going to, it's about a half cup of unsweetened applesauce. Like I said, this is homemade. I used whatever apples were left over from my uh, kitty meals. Um, so it's the applesauce, and then we're going to add in some tapioca starch and then seasoning. And then literally just cook and make. So if you're a sweet person in the morning, like I am, I'm a waffle pancake kind of person. That's actually what inspired this particular meal. I'm trying to cut down on the amount of grains that I'm eating, but I really wanted a pancake. But then I'm like, mmm, I also want hash browns. Can't have both. So I made both. <laughs> It comes out really, really, it does come out quite sweet. Um, no, it comes out mildly sweet, but it's a good, it's a good mashup with like eggs and, actually that's what I eat with these eggs. And I put a tablespoon of grape jam on the top. So about three table, actually, yeah, we're going to round it up to three tablespoons worth of tapioca starch. When it cooks, that's going to kind of help it fuse together. Um, just because this particular potato isn't, I don't know. It's, I don't know why I thought it needed the tapioca starch, but that's how I made it last time, so that's how we're making it this time. Do, do, do. Okay, and then we're gonna season it. I'm gonna use cinnamon and nutmeg because that's what I would put into an apple pie. And then when it's done, like I said, I serve it with like two eggs and then, um, My brain totally stopped. With two eggs and then I'll put a tablespoon of jam on top of the hash brown. Because they make hash browns about this big. Three of them. Um, today I may make them a little smaller because of how I'm baking them. 
But that's what it made last time. So a third of a potato is a serving size. Very low in calorie. They're actually, with the applesauce I made, only 70 calories a piece, which is good for the morning. Did you do? Mm -hmm. It's awkward. Okay, so anyway, I'm now going to portion this. I'm going to try for six, I think. And two will be a serving. But I think I'm going to portion them to six little pods on a silicone tray and then bake it at 350 until done. Um, again, the faster way is probably to pan fry it, but I have other things to do, so I'm going to bake it today. Now, I didn't use oil when I fried it, so there's no, there's no loss of cooking substance there. Okay, so it's all mixed together, and then I'm literally going to portion it out, and I'll show you how. Okay, so I have four portioned out here. I'm gonna portion out the next two, but I'll do that on camera so you can see what I did. Uh, there's really not much to it. I'm going to dump out the substance onto the cooking sheet. <laughs> and I'm going to separate it into two piles and squish it down. Like, that's that's how you separate something. Um, these are going to be kind of big, so I may add them so that I have six equal-sized hash browns. That is the plan. So, in case you can't see. Do, do, do. Now, so the reason I added the tapioca starch is because this particular potato is very dense. I did it on one of my previous videos where I tried to cut open a sweet potato from here. And you guys could see that it was it's pretty intense. Um, so because I don't think it's going to have any kind of adhesion, especially without the oil, um, that's the reason why I added the tapioca starch. Because that'll give it some kind of glue. So some hash browns, I'm going to sneeze, <coughs> okay, so some hash browns, they'll use an egg as a binder. It does exactly the same thing that the applesauce and the tapioca starch is doing in this case. Um, so it's just going to give, as it cooks and those things heat up, they'll kind of create a glue to hold the potato together until the potato is cooked. So that's why the tapioca starch, because I do see that there's recipes without it, um, as far as like without an egg or whatever, but that's what we use. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to stop talking, because that's all I'm doing, it's just yapping. So they are portioned out, about the same size each. Um, and again, if you can if you can imagine two of these together, that would be the one portion of hash browns that I made last time. I'm making six of them so they're a little smaller and they'll fit better on a plate. So now, this is going to go into the oven um, until it's done. I'm going to flip it halfway. So I'll probably monitor it every 15 minutes and then I'll flip it so that it doesn't, A, stick to the pan, and two, so that it gets cooked on both sides. Um, and... That's it. If you want to cook these in a frying pan, I would actually recommend it because it's faster, especially if you're going to eat it right away. I'm not going to. Um, and then when these are done, you can stick them into a plastic bag, a little Ziploc baggie, and they'll keep for about three or four days. So when these are done, if they come out pretty, I'll take a picture. If not, uh, this will be it. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy cooking.